Hey guys, it's Kelly and here is the morning routine. I am so sorry it took so long to get this uploaded. I really struggled with it. I am not an expert yet, but I pretty much wanted to make it perfect. So here is that video, not to mention I have two sick kids too, still sick, which you'll see that in the vlog coming soon. But it's just been a little bit of chaos around here with my mom and the kiddos and all that jazz and school just started back and I've tried to get hours at work and stuff like that. So it's been really, really overwhelming. But here is the morning routine and I hope y'all enjoy this. And if you are new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe, hit that red button down below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up as well. So the morning usually starts around 7.30. However, for this video, it started at 10.34. But the morning usually starts at 7.30. Lakeland usually wakes up first. So I always get up with her, go make her a bottle, and fix her some oatmeal or some eggs normally. However, this is the weekend, so we did things a little bit differently today. So normally, if Lander doesn't happen to wake up, when I wake up, I usually go and first things first, I always have to pee. So I pee and then I start washing my face to get ready for the day. try to give myself at least 20 minutes to get some makeup on and get my hair done before we get the day started and before since it's the weekend before I wake the kids up mommy life like I don't have much time to do anything but I do try to find at least 20 minutes to get everything that I need to done when it comes to my hair and makeup <music> Even if that means some days I have to set an alarm for 6.30 just so I have that extra mommy one-on-one -on -one time, that is what I will do. I used to let it in, all the things you said. You try to turn me into somebody else. But it will ricochet, I won't let it bite. Y'all, I hardly ever have all this extra time to truly get ready the way I am now. It's usually me pulling my hair out, screaming at Lander to put his shoes on, put his clothes on, help me with his sister, something always. But I would not trade these overwhelming, stressful days for anything. My kiddos mean the world to me and I love them so, so much. Literally to do everything that I did this morning, I would have to get up at 6 o'clock, if not 5.30, to give me all that extra time that I had this morning with a little bit of extra help that I had with the kids. After I have my hair and my makeup done, I find something to wear and today I just threw on some yoga pants and a hoodie. And if this was the actual Monday through Friday weekday, it would be about 7.25, 7.30ish and Lakeland would just start waking up. So the first thing I do before I go grab her out of her crib is I go downstairs 
and I make the babies their breakfast so they can just come down and start eating. But we can't forget about mommy. Of course, I've got to get a cup of coffee first and foremost. But first coffee, right y'all? I've also started to try to drink at least three of these 32 ounce waters every single day to help with my skin and to stay hydrated since I've been going to the gym almost every single day. I truly, truly could not thank my mom enough for helping me with the kids even though she's in the condition she is right now, she truly, truly is a lifesaver and I am forever, ever grateful for her. So this morning I decided to scramble up some eggs for the kiddos. And a little side note, when I was filming this, I actually dropped a whole egg in the floor and it like hit my feet. It's not in the video, I had definitely cropped it out, but it was a very eventful morning. That would definitely be what a Monday through Friday would literally look like, is an egg splattered all over the floor. If I give Lakeland scrambled eggs, I always make sure to mash them up extra, extra good into tea tiny little pieces so she doesn't choke. So now normally it would be probably 7.40ish and I would be just about to go upstairs and wake Lander and Lakeland both up and get them downstairs to eat their breakfast. And the day that we actually filmed this video was the beginning of Lander's sickness. So as you can see, he was not feeling too hot this morning and he had a very bad morning to say the least, but we made the best of it and he is doing a little bit better now. So after I get Lander all situated, I then go upstairs and grab Lakeland Look how sweet she looked this morning. She's definitely not a morning person. I guess she gets that from her mommy, but I get her up and I take her down and I sit her in her high chair. She's watching her daddy's every move. Oh yes, it's real life. She dumped all her eggs, or most of her eggs, out on the floor. I truly, truly love this time with my family. It's like no other. And because I was filming this morning, I literally hadn't even had one cup of coffee yet. That's why I am still pretty much dragging. Lander is such a goofball. Both of my babies literally light up a whole entire room anytime they're in it. 
So while my babies are eating, I normally try to find something for myself for breakfast. So this morning, mostly every morning actually, I usually just get some yogurt and add some fruit and some honey and some granola. And this morning it was blackberries and raspberries. And some things that are actually a little bit different about this morning routine is I also, as y'all have probably heard in some previous vlogs, I am taking care of my mom. So I also have to normally get her something for breakfast and help her get dressed for the day as well. This is literally my go-to breakfast. It is the best. Lakeland seriously did so, so good with bad time this morning. Next, while Lander is still in the bathtub soaking, I go ahead and I get Lakeland dressed for the day. Lake is such a healthy baby. She has rolls for days. She's my little chunk butt. She's so cute. Look at her. And usually about this time, it is time to lay her down for her first nap of the day. She, that's why she's getting fussy. She's just tired again. She still takes like three to four naps a day. And again, my handsome little boy did not feel good this morning at all, so he was very fussy when it came to washing his hair in bath time. So after I get Lander out of the tub, I then get him ready and dress for the day too. And then next on the agenda, after they've taken their baths and they're dressed, they both brush their teeth. However, Lakeland only has two teeth, so I usually just give her her little banana teether just so she can work on her two little teeth. You try to turn me into somebody else. But it will ricochet. I won't let it bite. And right here, Dallas actually reminded me how bad of a RBF I was having. <laughs> And 
and RBF means a resting blank face, if you didn't know that. And for whatever reason, I forgot to blow dry Lander's hair before I started styling it, so it definitely wouldn't spike for me this morning. We had errands to run this morning, so we put on their shoes so we could leave after we were done filming. So Monday through Friday, I normally give Lakeland some playtime in the floor before I go lay her down in her crib to take her first nap of the morning. And at that time, I pull out the vacuum, vacuum the living room, and this morning was a little bit different because, like I said, Lander was sick, so he actually threw up all over the chair and then gave him a different chair, slid that chair to the side, and then he got ketchup from his eggs all over it. So a little side note, don't ever, ever buy anything that has white fabric when you have kids. Worst mistake ever. When it's a weekday after I get the kids fed and everything cleaned up and the living room vacuumed and Lakeland down for her first nap, I will then pull out my computer and do some work from home and normally sign in and get some of my homework done for my online classes that I am currently enrolled in. Please look how cute Lander and Lakeland are sitting there peeping through the gate watching me vacuum up all these eggs. And I came across this inspirational quote the other day which has stayed really deep in my heart and I've thought about it for quite some time and it says you never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. And that is so, so true. Like you never can do anything unless you just let go. and. For me, I let God be in control and I just go out to sea and I just float and I try my hardest to keep my head above the water with faith knowing that God is there through all things. And that was it, the morning routine. Soon I'm gonna have a night routine coming at y'all as well, but give me a few weeks to get things together. I actually have vlogs coming this week and a haul or two as well. So stay tuned for those videos and I will see y'all very, very soon. Bye guys.